So I thought the summation by Mr. Seculo, the president's lawyer, showed how weak their case was. He said, we don't have eyewitness accounts, that all we have is a newspaper article. Well, Mr. Seculo, President Trump, we want to get witnesses. You can bring Bolton right into this chamber and he can swear under oath and be cross-examined by you. He also kept saying, this was a policy choice. And he points to the letter of July 25th. Three words never come out of his mouth that were in that letter. Hunter, Biden, CrowdStrike. So they, they just cannot address the issues. Their whole argument is diversion. The president's lawyers have spent three days avoiding the truth pointing fingers here, there, and everywhere. Even one of them gave a political speech on the floor. It was like a campaign rally because they don't want the facts. They don't want the truth. They're afraid of them. I think their case has been extremely weak. I hope that we have just four Republicans, all we need is four, who rise to the occasion and say we need to find out the truth. And I would remind my Republican friends these witnesses we've asked for are not Democrats, they're not anti-Trump people, they're his own appointees. We don't know what, if what they say will be exculpatory or further incriminating, but let the chips fall where they may. Get the truth. Why not? We want these four witnesses and these four sets of documents because we want a fair trial and a true trial where the facts come out. They can call who they want. Ask yourselves, why are they talking about a trade? They could call Hunter Biden if they had 51 votes for him today. They don't. I don't believe they have the votes because a good number of Republicans know two things. That Hunter Biden is a diversion and makes the trial into a circus like a couple of the president's lawyers did yesterday. And second, it confirms the fact that President Trump is obsessed with Hunter Biden and Joe Biden. So in other words, he's willing to risk American security and risk elections to go after Biden. They talk about quid pro quo, they talk about policy choice. They don't talk about interfering in elections. That is one of the most serious things that a president um, uh, can be charged with. It gets to the whole basis, core, root of America. And when you try to interfere with that and get a foreign power to interfere with that, you are risk despoiling our democracy. I could not think of a more serious charge than that, nor one that was the founding fathers were more fearful of than that. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Senator. Uh, I think a number of my Republican colleagues are really searching their souls. I know of a couple who are very close to saying they want witnesses. And certainly John Bolton is the one who should testify. The idea that we're going to review his manuscript without questioning or cross-examining him, we're doing it in a classified setting. He's about to release that manuscript. The only advantage of reviewing the manuscript alone is we don't have to pay for the book. And we really need to hear from him. I am, thought it was curious that they made statements saying, uh, uh, calling the manuscript different items. Well, if we want to hear what Mr. Bolton's con convictions were and conclusions were, let him come forward and testify. I did not hear a single argument other than delay about why you wouldn't bring somebody who is in the room, who's got first-hand knowledge that could clear a lot of this up. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks Senator. Senator.